Hey you guys, welcome to part two. I was talking to you guys about um, people that are grimy don't understand loyalty. And um, you know, another thing, and I'm talking to you about Jesus and how um, people wanted to um, debase the queen. You can't, you can't do that. You can't tell royalty that they're peasants and then try to tell the peasants or tell the peasants that they're royalty. It doesn't work. It, it didn't work in Jesus' day and it doesn't work in our day either. But, you know, that's the type of society that we live in a lot of times. We live in a world where a Proverbs 31 woman will be um, disrespected and people will try to promote a whore. That's the type of world we live in. And of course it's not everybody. I'm just talking in general. That's how a lot of people are. Oh, he's this and he's that. Da, 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 da. Yeah, but that's a horse. Oh, he's this and he's that. Yeah, but that's a horse. And then when they look at somebody that, people that may not be perfect, a man or a woman, and they don't, they don't claim to be perfect, but they try to adhere to the traditional standards and values that they say shaped and formed uh, this country and this world and society. They'll look at it as, oh, they're corny, they're square, they're this, that, that. Or they'll just start spreading lies on that person to try to make that person wear the costume of the whore while exalting the whore that could never wear um, the um, image of the Proverbs 31 woman or the man that is a real man and takes care of his household, his, wo his woman and his children. You know what I'm saying? That's where we live in. And people just have no respect for one another in a lot of cases. Not everybody, but, you know, um, as it pertains to relationships. And uh, so you have people coming together and forming dysfunctional unions and fighting like cats and dogs. And then they find themselves stuck with each other due to systematic forces that are out of their control that have pretty much set and altered their finances, which... Um, prevents people from being able to a lot of times launch out on their own and be independent and uh, indulge themselves in independent living. So now there's a codependency that has stepped onto the scene due to manipulative surrounding circumstances that comes from people that really don't want you to get ahead. They just want you to exalt them and live under their rule, under their thumb. That's the type of world we live in. Systematic control. Systematic controlling forces so you know for those of you out there that are loyal type people you're going to make it in this world but you're not going to make it trying to be a part of this world you're going to have to come out from among them and be separate you're not going to fit in you're not going to be able to be around a bunch of people that are constantly talking trash about other people, constantly backbiting other people, constantly gossiping about other people. And gossip is nothing but idle talk. Hearsay. I heard this. I heard that. Who cares what you heard? Do you have any facts? What's factual to the story? Because me personally, I will only be concerned about the facts. If it's not the fact, I wouldn't even be concerned about it, you know? And then we have people that are loyal. Loyal. They are, I was about to say loyalty. People that are loyalty. Oh, they are loyalty. But we have people that are loyal, and they'll get in relationships with people that are disloyal. Because the disloyal people will pretend to be something that they're not. And that's loyal. That's a deceiver and a liar. The type of world we live in. Yeah. Don't change your character. Because the world has no character. And I don't mean everybody, but I mean... They may have a character, but it's not an upstanding character. And I'm talking about this is only in reference to those that don't have an upstanding uh, character. You know, one is to be 
I don't want to say praise, but it's respecting, you know. I think a lot of people are just content with living their lives in peace by themselves. You know, and even when you do that, there will always still be outside manipulative forces that will desire to rob you of your peace. Well, because the thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. And I'm going to push that because those are the actual words of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus said it. He's telling you why things are coming to you. If you got questions, oh, why this, why that, why this, why that, God? <laughs> Jesus is telling you, steal, kill, destroy. Steal, kill, destroy. That's why. Oh, is that why? Yeah. Do you hear me now? People want to steal you. They want, they want to, I heard, I heard, I'm saying they want to steal you. I meant to say, I think it's still from you. But people want to steal you. You know what, you know what I mean by that now? They want to steal you. That means they want to take you from you. Who you are, your very substance, your being, your very being, your essence, things you love to do, things you like to do. That's the reason why you can get involved in toxic relationships and you will put down everything that once made you you. I don't care if it's your hobbies, your career pursuits, or whatever. And then to focus on this toxic object that is the object of your desire. But it doesn't mean you're the object of theirs. They were just thrown as somewhat of a monkey wrench in your path to hinder your way and distract you from the perfect will of God for your lives out there and take your eye off the prize, which is Jesus Christ first and foremost, and secondly, yourself. That's the reason why people get so angry when you focus your attention on yourself. Remember, Satan's whole agenda was for you to take your eye off of you. So when you put your eye back on you, who's going to be angry? The one that wanted you to take your eye off of you and focus on somebody that was not even thinking about you. Because the devil always wants you to come up and turn up no and void. He always wants you to invest in things that are not worth the investment. He always wants you to pour into things that have a hole in the bottom of the platform of the container whatever you're pouring into it can't contain what you're pouring into it it's like wasting your energy wasting your time wasting your effort wasting everything you're trying to build on something that is not a sure foundation am i talking to somebody out there today that's the reason why a lot of you feel like you wasted your time in a meaningless marriage because you were investing in something that didn't pay off or a meaningless relationship because you were investing in something that didn't pay off and now a lot of people are walking around feeling broken and torn but the reason why you're feeling that way is because you poured something out of yourself into a container that did not have a bottom meaning they couldn't hold what you were giving them because they weren't qualified to hold the content of your character oh my god see when they don't when they don't um how could what's the word um when they don't compare when they're not compatible with your character, they can't contain your character. So you can pour your goodness into them all you want, but it will never be reciprocated. Is somebody out there getting this message today? So now you understand why things are the way they are with certain people that you all may have in your life or have had in your life. Or if there are people that you're thinking about involving in your life, you will be able to immediately see the red flag and be able to emotionally detach. Whereas before... Uh, your experiences maybe you weren't able to detach because your hearts were vulnerable and, and and I don't want to use the word pure because I don't want it to sound like because you can detach that your heart is not pure but I'll just say your, your hearts were probably in a childlike state everybody's been heart has been in a childlike state but it only takes one demon one devil oftentimes male or female to put you all up on game and for a lot of people to change them and see that's something you don't ever want to do is allow uh, something that is toxic to make you become toxic to, to cause you to become a toxicity to somebody else's life because the whole agenda of Satan is to change your character that's what he wanted to do from the beginning he wanted to change Adam and Eve's character he wanted them to rebel against God Adam had a, um, a good character Eve had a good character but when they disobeyed God it affected their character it's no different than you and I. You understand what I'm saying? All right. So toxic people who are disloyal, they only come to change who you are. 